the old studied how to calculate a true range using the old school stuff techniques like paper chart or monitoring board. But let's face the truth. Normally, ships built after 2016 don't even have those on board. And of course, you know there are multiple number of versatile software out there, but what if you don't have any of those? Today, we are going to learn about a true wind calculated easily using the anemometer, Actis only. Furthermore, the wind displayed on your anemometer can be either apparent or relative. On this particular ship, the wind is apparent. So let's take a closer look and do the calculation. Looking at the details of anemometer, we can see that the wind speed is about 19 knots and the direction of apparent wind is plus 10. Since the wind is apparent and the sign plus, it would mean that the impact of the wind is on the starboard side. Therefore, you would have to sum up the wind direction value with the value of the ship's heading. If it was minus, it would mean that you needed to subtract the value of the wind direction from the value of the ship's heading. On the Actus display, you can see the ship's heading is about 15 degrees and the ship's speed is 11. Point, let's say 5 knots. 11.5 knots. You have to plot the ship's speed vector equal to 15 degrees and 11.5 knots. You can see that imaginary ship's vector now is 15 degrees and 11.5 knots. The other step would be to plot the apparent wind on the axis. We remember it was 10 degrees on the starboard side and the value was 19 knots. So 10 degrees plus ship's heading 15 degrees would be 25 degrees and it was 19 knots. We're doing the same thing with bearing and distance line for apparent wind. And now we may see that the direction of relative wind is 25 degrees and the speed value is 19 knots. The last step is to plot the true wind vector. To do it, you would have to plot the line starting at the beginning of the ship's speed vector and until it goes to the end of the relative wind vector. So we are connecting the start of the ship's speed vector with the end of the relative wind vector. It will be the direction and speed of the true wind vector. And we can see that the direction of the true wind is 40 5 degrees and the speed is about 8 knots. Doing that is possible on any Agnes type. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.